Tony D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on Barracuda Queens, a story about a group of hot girls who decide to uh, steal stuff in Sweden. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's the Pineys, books 1 through 11. Available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. I'll be at the Devil's Creek Brewery tonight at 7 p.m. in Collingswood, New Jersey, if you'd like to hear How to Hunt the Jersey Devil. Now, the premise of this movie is they're already a bunch of rich girls, but they're young and uh, they don't like the way men treat them. And uh, they decide, uh, this girl here, she's like the perfect girl or something. And she, she doesn't want to get in trouble with her mother because now she's, I don't know, she lost her scholarship or something, needs money. And decides just to steal things. So she steals a man's Rolex. And then uh, they decide uh, as a group. The Barracuda Queens will start robbing houses. And they do. Inspired by true events. So they just start robbing houses. Eventually they get the uh, idea, well, you got to steal art. Because that's where all the money is. So they start using their womanly ways to uh, uh, break into places and find out stuff. And they, they start robbing places. Look how many places they rob. <laughs> they rob of quite a few of them. And I guess nobody suspects them because they're just young, beautiful women who are rich and who would uh, suspect them. But eventually they do get caught. So uh, I like this. Now, normally I'd be like, ah, F this. This will be stupid. It'll be like girls being like super smart and uh, uh, sticking it to the men. No, 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 it's not like that. What it is is the way I imagine it would roll out. These girls actually don't need the money. But why do they start robbing places? It's more about their own ego. The girl on the right doesn't want to get in trouble with her mom. So she decides, well, I'll fix her. I'll prove it to everybody. I can make it on my own. We'll just steal stuff. So it's, to me, that's more interesting. Because it says more about her character and how, like, I mean, even in the 90s, you have people who... You know, especially in the younger generations that are unmoored from moral qualms. Yeah, why shouldn't I steal stuff? Well, you find out at the end when you when you get caught. Um, so, like it says right here, she she's like obsessed with materialism, and uh, says, "Oh, I hate being poor." And then the girl's like, "You're not poor. You don't even have to work." So that's awesome. That that's the way I could see a girl gang happening uh they're stealing and and they're very girly about it too they're like in the home as they've broken into it and they stop to celebrate and drink champagne but somehow they keep getting away i guess june 5th i think i may watch this movie um because it looks fun and it looks like they get their comeuppance <laughs> they just they just go on a tear run amok spend a bunch of money an event. I guess they kill somebody. There's blood on their hands. Jesus. Uh, they go on a tear and get in over their heads. And stories in which characters like this get in over their heads, whether they're male or female, are interesting. Because you eventually get to see the consequences. You get to see the entire sort of closure. Um, and they don't really deserve the money. Right? Because Because of the reasons that they're stealing. They're not stealing because... I don't know, they're funding a great enterprise or they're getting back at someone who did them wrong. They're stealing because they're greedy women. Um, and they spend it on clothes and champagne and brunches. and So uh, this, to me, makes a hell of a lot more sense than, say, that female Ocean's Eleven movie. Um, so I love the premise. It takes place in Sweden, 1995. So... Uh, you know, they got a little more leeway in terms of the technology. Um, you know, there's not video cameras everywhere. Um, you've got uh, uh, hot girls doing it. And they're feminine. They're not trying to be men about it. They're doing it the way women would do it. And uh, I'm not saying all women would do it this way. And you couldn't do a movie about 
noble people who are forced to steal, but that's not this movie. It's about spoiled rich girls who decide, oh, we'll steal. We'll just steal. And they find it. Again, I've always said, uh, crime does pay until you get caught. It's actually kind of easy until you get caught. <laughs> that's part of the problem. That's part of the allure. You know, you, you, you commit a crime, and it's like you get away with it, and you go, oh, oh, I, I actually did it. And no one caught me. Why wouldn't I do this more? Well, you find out eventually. Um, so, first act uh, sets up why they need the money. Uh, the girl, I guess it's the girl second from the left, is the one who uh, gets in trouble financially and starts stealing because she doesn't want to admit to her mother that she needs money or doesn't want to go to her for money. And wants to show her she's, you know, maybe she made a poor investment. Maybe she loses a scholarship. I'm not sure. Doesn't really say, but it kind of doesn't matter. But she does it for her own ego. And then her friends get involved for various other reasons. Also not very good reasons. And at first, it works out great. They start stealing. No one suspects them because they're beautiful and they're, people think that they're all rich. Why would they steal? We never suspect them. And then they escalate in the second act. The girl, second from the right, says we should be stealing art. You know, the big stuff. And so they start doing that. And they get away with it again. Yeah, there's some more, there's some more people who might, you know, uh, rat them out or whatever. But, so far, they're getting away with it. They outsmart the cops. Then they think to themselves, wow, we, no one can stop us. Which is something, unfortunately, it's, it's kind of like gambling. I always see it as, you know, the mafia guys say uh, we hate degenerate gamblers. Well, in a lot of ways, thieves are degenerate gamblers. Because you're taking a chance every time you rob somebody, you're going to be caught. And then the consequences are big. Now, the payoff could also be big but the consequences are always bigger and um so they keep robbing and slowly things start to unravel and then the third act is about it all falling apart which i'm there for because that to me is the big payoff of the movie you know you get to see him run like you know and it's a fantasy too it's a fantasy that you can steal and steal and steal and not get caught but then the fantasy comes to an end and that's what grounds it in reality and then you see what the characters are really made of. And, uh, you know, in the end, they're in the police station crying. Ah. Um, but it's kind of funny because it sets it up as these characters who are, they're kind of overblown, they're kind of full of themselves, and then they get their comeuppance. But at the same time, it's kind of fun. This, this is the kind of thing I used to put in my game, Complete Mafia for D20. That was the fantasy, committing a heist, committing a, you know, robbery or whatever. You know, spending lots of money on cars and jewelry and fun, and then, but eventually, maybe, it, maybe you uh, don't get away with it. So, uh, I would totally watch this. It's on Netflix. I, may, I very well may. Uh, let's read the write up. Barracuda Queens is a girl gang heist series. Oh, it's a series. Oh wow! Don't drag it out too long. I would say, following a group of disaffected teenagers who, bored with their privileged lives, become involved in escalating campaign of house burglaries. Targeting their rich neighbors. Yeah. Yeah. It could could be very good. Um, I don't know about a series, though. Still, though, I am intrigued. So, over the course of the series, that's the way it will go. But to continue the series, you're going to have to keep some of the girls out of jail. And they're going to have to keep stealing for some reason. And they kind of really don't have a reason to steal once they're hit with the consequences. At some point, they're going to go, well, I've been caught too many times. I'll just go back to being rich. But um, I do kind of like the premise. I wonder what the true story is behind these girls robbing people. Interesting. Hmm. All right. I, I still may be in. I'd rather see it as a movie, but... Uh, a series, one season? I, I can see it one season. Maybe two. I, I wouldn't go past two, though. That, that seems like it would be too long. Unless they, I don't know, get away with it somehow and frame somebody by the end of the first season and then you could do a second season like where they're 
they they take a break and then they come back and go oh no we're going to do it again for some reason but i i think beyond two seasons would be really tough unless you know you're talking five seasons by the fifth season of the show these some of these characters would be absolute gangsters murdering people so it's the only way you could escalate it and make it kind of grounded unless it was a total comedy but i don't see it as a comedy it seemed fairly grounded. Yeah, there's going to be some fun moments in it. But, um, yeah, I still may check it out. All right, Barracuda Queens uh, on Netflix. Uh, check it out in, what did I say, June 5th, I think? June 5th, I believe, was the date. I'll just double check here. And it is Netflix. Netflix didn't tell me. June 5th, there it is. So that's it for me, Tony D, and Little Joan. Check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for our more base takes. If you can find a more base take, take it. I'll see you in Collingswood at 7 p.m. at Devil's Creek Brewery, and we'll see you in the next one.